My name is William McDonald. Most people call me Bill. I've written two children's books so far, they're picture books. First one was called Flying Together, It's Okay Really. And the second one is called Forgiving is the Right Thing to Do. In January 2017, uh, Ruthann and I were out in LA at a retreat, weekend retreat, with a couple called Sheila and Marcus Gillette. Sheila channels a group of 12 archangels who call themselves Theo. But one of the women that was helping out in the retreat heard me talking about having problems finding an illustrator. She said to me, she said, you know, my husband and brother-in-law wrote a children's book, and my brother-in-law did the illustrations. So if you want me to, give me your information. I'll contact him, see if he's interested. Well, later on that week, he contacted me, said he was interested. I sent him a copy of the manuscript. He sent me a couple of pencil sketches. And as they say, the rest is history. Uh, him and I just clicked perfectly. I would send him the manuscript and he would send me, probably within a week, about four or five pencil sketches. And once I gave the approval, he would send me the color pictures. And in about six weeks, he had completely done 21 color illustrations. And what was really interesting with it was that I originally thought about using pictures of real birds, drawings of real birds. He said that it would be better if we used ones that would relate more to children. So that's why they're not comical birds, but they're not real birds. The two books basically deal with three birds who become friends. One's a robin, one's a blue jay, one's a cardinal. And they face issues, and they don't know how to deal with them. And they're taught on how to solve these problems that they have. There are issues facing children in today's society that are, they're not new issues. They've been around for a long time, but they're more public now. And I'm talking about issues dealing with diversity, anger, uh, abuse, divorce, death, disabilities, uh, things of that nature that children don't know how to deal with. And the importance of these books are to teach the children and the parents on how to address the issues, how to deal with them, and in a lot of cases, solve these issues. I really hope to, like I said, to get the children and the parents talking about these issues. And I would really like these books in all the schools, all the libraries, and in every home for the families to use and learn from. I did a lot of research on publishing. Uh, I first found out that a lot of traditional publishers will not accept manuscripts except from literary agents. So I started looking at self-publishing did a lot of research and found that Balboa Press, through their various packages that they offer, offer a lot more than other self-publishing companies. Example, in, in their packages, they will include business cards, bookmarks, postcards that aren't offered by other companies. And in addition, they not only publish the book on their website, in their bookstore, they also list it on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, and they also include eBooks, which a lot of companies, that's extra. With Balboa, it's all included with the packages. The only surprise, or the biggest surprise, was that I kept on being told that it would take about three months to publish the book. Well, in about six, six and a half weeks, uh, the book were finished, and that happened in both both books. So that was kind of the biggest surprise. And they told me it was because they would picture books, so it was a lot easier than a novel or something of that nature. Um, the other thing, it wasn't a big surprise, but I was very pleased with, was Balboa was in constant contact with me in reference to the status, where things were. Through emails, through phone calls, they were very helpful, very friendly and they were a pleasure to work with. When I received the first copy, the author's copy, it was surreal. I mean, I was a published author. Um, it took almost five years for it to be published, so 
uh, we were kind of excited, uh, posted on social media pages, and we celebrated that night by going out to dinner. Anyone who's considered publishing a book for the first time needs to do a lot of research. It may seem like it's a lot of work, a lot of effort, but in the long run, it's worth it because you may find some surprises along the way during the research that you may have to turn around and start again or go in a different direction.